Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari A to Z Flashback, a series of explorations of the 150 games that make up Atari Flashback classics for Nintendo Switch. Today's game is Real Sports Baseball for Atari 5200. This was a 1983 release by Atari and one of several Real Sports games for the Atari 5200. Now, with the Atari 5200's somewhat short lifespan and fairly niche interest status, there's not a great deal of historical note that's been recorded about this game, but it is somewhat more well regarded than its 2600 counterpart that we saw last time around. This is one of the few games where the Atari 5200 keypad actually came into its own for secretly selecting pitches, and its non centering analog stick provided a fun degree of physicality to the gameplay, so a simulation of actually swinging the bat. This game also features digitized speech, which is still relatively rare in games from this era. So let's go check it out. Let's go play Real Sports Baseball. Okay, welcome back once again to Atari Flashback Classics. And today we take a look at Real Sports Baseball for the Atari 5200. Um, like a couple of FK Data Z videos I've done recently, uh, I'm currently using the tie clip mic I normally use for my uh, intro uh, videos. So apologies for the sound quality. Is a little bit less than normal uh, or anything like that but uh, my microphone stand broke so I'm currently waiting on a new one so I'm just going to have to live with this for a couple of episodes um, yes uh, as I mentioned in the Evercade episodes this is probably a good opportunity to shill my Patreon where you can help me buy some equipment that doesn't suck uh, so stop by patreon.com slash Pete Davison or moegamer.net forward slash donate if you want to help out with that Right, in the meantime, Real Sports Baseball for Atari 5200. This is supposedly a lot better than Real Sports Baseball for the 2600, which we looked at last time, but uh, I'm skeptical, but we'll see. Let's have a look at the manual first. Designed and programmed by James Anderson and Keithan. Okay, fair enough. Nice to see some credits in an Atari manual. Okay, baseball rules. The basic rules of baseball apply to Atari Real Sports Baseball. The regulation game lasts nine innings, if the score is tied after nine innings, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, so we know all that. Atari Real Sports Baseball is a, italics, very sophisticated sports video game. To get the most out of your game playing, this instruction manual should be read carefully and thoroughly. Your skills will increase the more you play the game, ultimately adding to the challenge and satisfaction of the game. All right, well, let's read this manual thoroughly then. For your convenience, two keyboard, keypad overlays are included with this game. So, yeah, just as a reminder for those of you who've not come across the Atari 5200 before, that thing down there in the lower left, that is an Atari 5200 controller. Up at the top, there is a non centering analog stick, which is, I've never used one myself, but it's supposedly horrendous. Um, it's also got this telephone style keypad at the bottom, which was sort of the main unique selling point of the Atari 5200. Uh, and with most games that made use of it, you had a little overlay that you could actually snap into the controller um, that basically showed what all of those buttons did, which is cool. Um, so yeah, in this case, it allows the pitching player to choose different types of pitch. Um, and that's cool because it allows them to do it secretly uh, from the other player. So if you're playing a two player game, uh, the, the player who is fielding at the time can secretly select a play uh, and press the button. Now on this version, on the switch um, we kind of lose that to a certain extent because the way the keypad is implemented is via an on-screen menu however um, in the game settings for each of the 5200 games you can reassign uh, any of the keys on your switch controller to any of the keypad keys as well so um, you can still keep it secret that way if you want to Okay, game variations. There are three skill levels in Atari Real Sports Baseball, Novice, Intermediate, and Advanced. These levels can be played by one player, two players, or the computer. One player can play Atari Real Sports Baseball against the computer, two players can play, yes, you just said that. And the skill level of each team can be adjusted to handicap or advanced players. This is a good way to, for a beginning player to take on a more skilled player. Okay, and down at the bottom there, we've got what those different difficulty levels mean. So it's basically to do with speed, how difficult the batting is, and how how fast the computer-controlled opponent moves as well. All right. Uh, playing ball, control action. Whenever you select a player to perform a specific function, you must use your controller 
to activate that player. The control player will turn a solid colour. Only an activated or controlled player is responsive to your joystick commands. Okay, so hitting the ball, the movement of your joystick directly parallels the swing of the bat. When your joystick is in the extreme left position, the bat will be cocked over the batter's shoulder and you will be ready to swing with full power. Move your joystick from left to right to take a swing at the ball. The faster you move the joystick, the harder you can hit the ball. The height at which you swing the bat also affects the type of hit you get. The amount of separation between the white ball and its black shadow indicates how close the ball is to the ground. Okay, so we've actually got an analog swing system in this, which is quite interesting. This sort of backs up a few things that I've read about this game online as well, which is that it's one of the few games that does actually make pretty good use of the Atari 5200 controller. As much as people hate that non-centering analog joystick, basically because it breaks all the time, uh, it is actually really good for stuff like this. So I'm interested to see how that works with the Switch controller. Okay, base running. When a batter hits the ball, he will automatically run to first base. If there are runners already on base, they will also try to advance the base. If there are two outs, the players will begin running as soon as the ball is hit. If there are less than two outs, the players will wait until the ball bounces before running to avoid being doubled out on a flyer. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Oh, this is all baseball stuff I don't understand. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Activating a base runner. To control a specific base runner, you must activate him by pressing the lower fire button on either side of your controller. With the lower fire button pressed, move your joystick in the direction of the base on which your runner is standing until he turns a solid colour. Release the lower fire button and you've activated that player. Steal a base, move your joystick in the direction of the base you want to steal. The runner will start moving and the computer will automatically move fielders to cover the bases. To steal without getting a strike or inadvertent hit, make sure your bat is pulled all the way back when you press the lower fire button. What? I don't... I missed something somewhere. Okay, well... Advanced race running... Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more complicated than... Um, Real Sports Baseball on the... Uh, 2600. The first step in fielding is to activate a player, so again, the computer will automatically activate the player closer to where the ball bounces. If the ball gets beyond the first fielder, the computer will activate the next closest player. When your player is activated, you can move him wherever you want, or you can manually activate your fielders as well. The easiest way to throw the ball is to let the computer help you. Press the upper fire button. The computer will activate the player covering the base ahead of the lead runner. Press the upper fire button a second time and the ball will be thrown to a control player. Okay, well... I think we're just going to have to jump in and, and actually have a go at this. Um, I'm also going to plug in the charger on my camera, so just bear with me one sec. <laughs> nice touch, there's a little scorecard in the back of the manual there that you can... Um, excuse my hand, there we go. Now we're charging. Right. Let's... Uh, Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see over on the left-hand side there, that is the the virtual keypad um, that we've got. In fact, before we do this, uh, let me just check the options. Controls, A for throw, R for switch player. Yeah, so you see here, you can actually assign keys on your switch controller to any of those keypad options. Uh, and if you're going to play it two-player, it's a good idea to do that, just so you, your opponent doesn't see what you're up to. Unfortunately, I don't think there's quite enough buttons to do all of them. So you might have to sacrifice a few things. Like options and voice, you probably won't need to do that, but... Uh, well, there you go. I'll leave you to figure that out for yourself if you haven't played this with a friend. Excuse me. Right, let's play. Baseball, copyright 1983 Atari. Uh, right, so. Visiting team, 
intermediate. No, 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 we won't begin there. Thank you very much. Novice, novice. And home team. Novice computer. And then. I'm going to play a six inning game because the, the nine inning one we did in um, Atari 2600 baseboard went on for just a little bit too long. Um, and this looks a whole lot more complicated, so I don't really know what's going to be happening. So let's give it a go anyway. This is a team novice, home team novice computer. We've got voice and six innings. Press start to begin new game. Start! Okay, now, one thing you may recall from uh, previous episodes of Atari A to Z flashback is that, you're oops, you're out, is that the sound emulation on the Atari 5200 games in this collection is a little bit dodgy. Strike. It's not awful, um, but there's also aspects of it that aren't great. So like anytime there's music, it sounds a little bit out of tune for some reason. It's actually much easier to hit the ball than it is in 2600 Real Sports Baseball, though, it has to be said. Out. And that, an that analog swing is really good, actually. That's got a really satisfying feel to it. Okay, so let's see what how fielding works. So basically, I guess what we do is we pick one of these... that I guess and then hit the button Ball. all right okay let's try something else fastball <laughs> okay Yeah, I've not, not nailed that yet. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Uh, throw. Okay, yeah, I think I do get it, because the auto-selection of the player. Um, you tap the button once to select the player, and then tap it again to throw the ball, and you need to do that reasonably quickly, I guess. Oh no, get it, get the ball, get the ball, throw the ball. That's a terrible throw. But whatever. Okay, curveball medium. Ball. Try that, try that again. Ball two. How, how'd you make that not be a ball? Uh, uh, fastball low. Out. Nice. Oh, they got a run though. Curses. Right. This calls for a change up medium, obviously. Out. Nice. But they've got another run because I suck. La 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 la. I'm glad that the pointless running around is still present from uh, 2600 Real Sports Baseball. Okay, this isn't actually as complicated as the manual makes it look. I think. I think what we've got is a game where there is the option to play this in a lot more depth than... Oh no! You're, You're out. out! You've got the option for more advanced controls if you need it, but if you just want to 
play a fairly straight forward and simple game of baseball, then you can do that. Run, 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 keep running. Nice. Bollocks. Yeah, this analog swing is great though. Out. Tits. Yeah, very, very impressed with the batting in this. Fielding. I think I'm getting a feel for it. I think I'm getting a feel for it, but that remains to be seen. I am, I am two runs down. Is it runs in baseball? I don't know. I just don't know. Get the ball, you pillock. Take your time. Right, it's time for a fast ball low with a wind up. Nice. That was a smarter play than I would have gone for. I was going to throw it at the first base, but... Right. Let's do that again, because that seemed to work quite well. Catch it. Lovely. Get the hang of this now. I can sports. Feels like there's a lot of unnecessary fire button presses in this. Out. Like it feels like you need to press the fire button at least three or four times. When really once would be fine. <laughs> but anyway. This was 1983. We can't complain too much. Hit! Missed. Strike two. Strike oh, three. I'll uh, kill you. Strike. No way was that a strike. Strike two. How do I? How do I? Okay. Better, I guess. Don't catch it. Home run! That's good, right? <laughs> nice. And with that, I have equalized. Ah, curses! It was going so well. Missed. I don't understand how you get the ones that are over there. Don't catch it. You're out. Well, we even. That's the start. Right. You can have some fastball low with a wind-up, because that worked quite well last time. Get the ball, get the stupid ball. You're out. See there, you have to press the fire button twice to move on to the next pitch. Oh no, I should pay more attention to shadows. Right. Fast ball high. Get the ball, you moron. And again. 
Oh. Out! Okay, it's not going terribly. It's not going terribly. If I can just get one more run out of this, then we all good. Don't catch it! You You're caught out. it. That's not nice. <laughs> Oh, how come sometimes you, they throw it really hard and then other times they, like, fling it like a wet kipper? Smack! Don't you dare catch it. You're out. <sighs> this is tricky, but I'm not having a terrible time. It seems to be a bit of a pattern with these sports games, isn't it? I dread playing them, and then they actually turn out to be not awful. Right. Chuck it. Okay. Ball, ball. Do like the speech in this. Get it. Get it. No. What are you doing? <sighs> Would help if I understood how to play baseball properly, wouldn't it? But well, here we are. Ball, ball. What is that? What do you call that? What do you honestly call that? Out! You suck. Okay, getting the hang of fielding. Fielding is n not a problem. I don't know if I want to say not a problem, but it could be worse. It could be much, much worse. Batting. Home run! There's that point I needed. Strike two. Strike three. You're out. Out. Yeah, I don't. You're Still not 100% sure how to hit those ones that are over further to the right. Probably missing something somewhere, but. Well. Strike. Strike two. Damn. That was almost nice. Just not quite nice enough. But we are ahead by one. With only an inning and a half left to go. So. Let's just. Hope this all goes well. Let's try a fastball medium. You're out. You are indeed out. Use the v, v, v that. that is, as ever, my phone. Throw the ball. What are you doing? And why? Oh. Out. Alright, it's all down to this final innings. Can I get any more runs? Oh, way too early. Way too early. 
Don't. You're out. They know exactly where it's going to land. That's really frustrating. <laughs> Strike. I'm still in a good position, though. That was nice. Okay, all good. Strike. Oh, way too early. Oh, it's okay. Don't. You're out. You know it's going to happen moments before it actually does. It's annoying every time. Strike. Helps if I watch the screen, doesn't it, instead of my cat. Strike two. Strike three. You're out. Well, it's all down to defense in this final, final inning. Let's bring out the big guns. The fastball low with the wind up. Go are out. And again. You're you out. are out. And again. Ball, ball. You are the foul ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. You're out. Victory! How about that? I can win. Real Sports Baseball on the Atari 5200 on Novice Difficulty. So that's good. Anyway, uh, I think we get the idea of that. That's, again, not awful. And it is better than the 2600 version. It doesn't have quite the same degree of ridiculous and unnecessary micromanagement that the 2600 version does. It looks like, it does look like the option for that is there. But it's not sort of the default approach like it seems to be in the 2600 version that's where the 2600 version really suffers because you just have this unnecessary degree of control over your players um and it doesn't really work also batting is really difficult in that version whereas in this one you've got that cool super cool analog swing um which when you consider this was 1983 that's really quite really quite interesting to see when you consider that analog swings for Things like golf games and stuff didn't become particularly widespread until much, much later. Much, much later. Sort of PS2 era, I want to say. Maybe maybe even later than that. But anyway, there's Real Sports Baseball for Atari 5200, as seen here in Atari Flashback Classics in all its slightly out-of-tune glory. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.